Okay. Uh, sure. I could have been stuck here and starved or eaten. Oh, you poor, dumb animal. Oh. What'll I tell Mildred? Well, thank you. You need a ride home, ma'am? Oh. oh, yes, mister, please. Thank you. Do you know Valentine? I live there. No problem. We'll need to go on a horse. Uh, my leg can't handle the walk. I don't normally travel this far alone, you know. I was off inquiring about a possible new line of work. I I'd borrowed a friend's horse for the trip. See, my husband... Well, it's just me and my boy now, and it's hard to find work. Hmm, I'm sure it is. A good opportunity. That's what I'm looking for. Not much work for a woman with a boy to raise. I won't work in no saloon, but I've got sharp eyes and quick hands. I was hoping to get a job working as a seamstress. A wealthy man said he'd pay me for the work. Sounds promising. Also doesn't sound real. Oh, you may be right, I suppose. He said he'd provide room and board for me and for my child. He wanted to meet me first. I'd be careful with offers like that, ma'am. I can't afford to dismiss offers like these, even if they do seem... odd. Just be careful is all I'm saying. I may not have another opportunity like this. Now I'll have to pay Mildred back for her horse. It sure sounds like you're in a hard position. You finding me is the only good thing that's happened to me in a long while, sir. We're close now. Just a little further. We're here. Thank you for all your help. You're a good man. Glad I was able to help. You take care. Appreciate it. You be well. I'm hurt. How about we skip the small talk, eh? Nice try. You all right, girl? Hello?
interesting way of putting it, Seamus. Uh, no doubt. I do interesting very well. It's trusting I don't do so well. Please. I know how to work with good people, Seamus, and I work in the right way. Well, they all say that. I never met an idiot that called himself one. Very true. In that case, I'm an idiot. But I know how to get things done efficiently. Arthur, this is Seamus. He's our new partner. I ain't no such thing. Prospective new partner, if he likes us. Liking ain't the problem. Trusting is, as I said. Keep your voices down. I don't want my boss hearing. This is a sideline. Of course. Look at us. Honest as the day is long. Exactly. I'll tell you what. Let us prove ourselves. <laughs> prove ourselves? To this clown? What you talking about? Good day, Hosea. Good luck with your business dealings. <laughs> Listen. Uh, he's rough and ready and quick with his tongue, but I swear you can trust him and trust me. I'm an old man. You're not old, Seamus. I'm old enough. And you know why I ain't dead? You don't trust idiots. Exactly. We're not idiots. Let us prove it to you. Okay. I'll tell you what. Arthur. Old Bob Crawford and his boys just bought a beautiful stolen stagecoach from upstate. It's in their barn. Now you go get that. And then we can work together. Who's old Bob Crawford? An acquaintance of mine. So you want us to take out your competition? Well, he, he's not just an acquaintance, but a cousin by marriage. I also want to see if you boys got what it takes. Now, you survived that. Where is he? Well, he's in a farmhouse just northwest of here called Carmody Dell. It's just up the train tracks as you're heading up towards Fort Wallace. There's also some money in that house, but that's your business, not mine. But don't kill nobody. Folks know we ain't intimate no more, and they'll know it was me. But you're fine with us robbing your cousin. By marriage. And yes, I love it. You heard the man. Let's go rob his cousin. By marriage. <laughs> really? Really. Lead the way. He said the place is just northwest of here. Me? The other one who's been out gallivanting around here. That's what you call it. Oh, clearly you've recovered from your bear encounter. Oh! Thought you wanted me here to show some strong arm. That's usually how it goes. Yes, but you know how this works. Come on, Hosea. That feather's a joke. And that's why he's perfect. He won't cause us any problems. A safe spot to fence wagons and coaches, that's easy money for us. I guess you're right. Come on, it's not like he's asking us to rob a bank. If the two of us can't steal a stagecoach from Seamus's old crooked cousin by marriage, we should hang up our hats now. How are you feeling about things now? What things? This place. The gang. Been here a few weeks now. Good, I think. Better. I figured more folks would have cut and run on us, given everything that happened. Like Dutch always says, a lone wolf don't last long out on the plains. He does like to trot that one out. People see that, especially when they get a few years on them. Even someone like Micah. There's a couple of folks I wish had cut and run. Maybe they'd say the same about you. Whoa. That must be the place up ahead. We should go on foot from here. You can rest now, girl. Let's see what we're dealing with. Come on. There's the house. I see the barn in the back. Stagecoach has to be in there. Okay, let's take a quick look at the place. You see anyone? Nope. Okay. I reckon we could do it now. Sneak in, and I'll get the coach. You can try the house. Or... Wait until morning, when I'll head over, distract them by putting on a little show. While you sneak into the house, find what you can, and then get the stagecoach. What do you think? Let's wait. Okay. <laughs> Let's get on with this, Mr. Uh, Morgan. Yes. 
Let me head up there and make a fool of myself. <laughs> With pleasure. Just don't get caught. Because it's me, they'll shoot first. Wait until I have them distracted outside, then sneak into the house. My good man! My good young man. Fairly well, fairly well. <laughs> is your father home, son? Sure is. Get him down here, please. Get him down here. Get lost, mister. I was lost for many years. I was lost many years. Now I'm not. And you know what? Oh, <laughs> here he is. Are you the father of the house? Sure. Pleasure to meet you. I was just chatting with Junior here a bit. You selling something, partner? I'm not selling, sir. I'm giving it away. <laughs> I was just telling, uh, uh, your, uh, Junior, what's your name, son? Robert Crawford III, sir. Oh, pleasure to meet both of you, sir. My name, my name is... Now, don't tell no one, because in New York, I'm kind of famous. I once performed on Broadway. Now that's not important or relevant. I have been saved! I've been found! Oh, no, I, I saw it in your eyes. You think I'm a nut? Do you think I'm a nut, Bob Crawford the third? I ain't interested in no religious talk. I'm not a religious man. Respect the family. Have respect. I got something better. Way better than church. I can use it. Preach. Final alignment. The Lord God Almighty, or who, whomever built us, put our brains in here, but our soul is in our backs. You, sir, your, your back looks kind of tricky and complicated. Sure. I can fix that for you. Just 10 or 15 sessions. Whiskey suits me fine, sir. Whiskey? It's whiskey is just causing the problem. You ever meet a sign who's just hobbling old? That better just a bit. Yeah, yeah, it's a, it's a little bit better. Each session has been free, but perhaps I might call again. How much will it cost me? I'm offering you virility, and you're asking me about money, sir. I ain't made of money, Mr. My rates are reasonable. Have a think about it. I'll be around this way next. You done, Arthur? Yep. Okay, let's grab this stagecoach and get out of here.
should have been more careful. Yeah, sorry. Must have left the dresser open. Slow down. You'll burn out the horses. So what were you able to lift from the house? A few bits and pieces. None too fancy. Well, we need anything we can get right now. This was easier than hunting a thousand pound grizzly anyway. <laughs> no doubt. I won't forget that in a hurry. I'm looking forward to your retelling of that one around the campfire. <laughs> it wasn't the first time Mr. Matthews had stared death in the eye. And as usual, he did not flinch. Yeah, exactly. How long you think we're going to stick around here for? Not sure. Until we can't, I suppose. Feels like we're starting to get back on our feet, slowly but surely. Just need to keep at it. Dutch has a new money chest stashed in a safe spot away from camp, but it's a long way from being full. I hope it's not stashed in town like we did in Blackwater. Even if we had to dump the money from the ferry, we could have at least got the rest out if it was hidden someplace else. Okay, here we are. Just pull the coach into the barn there. Hello, Seamus. We met your cousins. How was it? Fine. Nice people. Mm. Park that thing in here. Quickly. Uh, nice work, Hosea. It was mostly Arthur. Like I said, coarse but competent. Here. Thank you. If you find any other coaches that need selling, I'll see what I can offer you for them. But discreet, you know. Of course. Goodbye, gentlemen. I'm heading back to camp, I think. You coming? Sure. Get up. What the hell? Mr. Morgan. Mr. Morgan. I've noticed you've stopped I'm paying into the box. I'm too for this. I've been sort of busy, Miss Grimshaw. Hmm. Well, we all need to eat, Mr. Morgan. <sighs> I'll see what I can do. Thank you. Oh, there you are. Sure. It was here. He had it all the time. Mr. Miller, he'll never let you down. It's so simple. Even you'd get it, Arthur. Oh, thank you. What matters? What's always mattered? Surviving. The result, not the means, which I guess is sort of the same thing. We'll survive. We'll Keep moving forward. Maybe we'll leave the West far behind. And do what? Give it time. Look at the birds. Look at the beasts. Copy what the best ones do. I know, dear. Stay calm. Jack needs you calm. <laughs> you ain't giving up on us, are you? No, of course not. 
But this is no situation for Abigail and the boy. Well, maybe not. Glad to be off that mountain, Mr. Pearson. Yes, indeed. Lots to do now. Yeah, for all of us. Mr. Morgan. Mr. Morgan. Yes, Miss Grimshaw. One of the girls saw that friend of yours, Mary Gillis, sniffing about. Mary? Yes. I never liked that woman, Mr. Morgan. Funny business. Okay there, Dutch? Yeah. When are you going to meet Trelawney and the others? If there's a chance to get to Sean. I know, I know. I'm on it, I promise. Morning, Arthur. Hey there. Or it is ease, lies. Who makes this crap up? Why are we having a war with the goddamn Philippines? Who cares about the Philippines? What even are the Philippines? Just the biggest load of nonsense yet. God. Yeah, it's enough to turn a good, honest fella to drink. Being a bad, dishonest fella, it's gonna send me to drink twice as fast. I just can't cope. Really. <laughs> I can't. What's wrong? You've barely looked at me. I have a lot to think about right now, okay? Oh. Okay. Sorry. You missing your tree yet? I feel like chopping it down. We'll all be watching you. Okay, well, let's talk more later. Then take care. You okay? Sure. Why are you walking around so sad? I'm not sad, just bored. You're bored? Bored's good. Bored means you ain't scared. Be grateful for being bored, lady. Soon enough, you're gonna be scared. When I was a little girl, Parker. I guess I hoped for... Dutch, I, don't know. I need you to do me a I favor. To a Nothing too serious. You know I, I need you to help you Herr Strauss. Really I've been working so hard, been Dutch. Forced. I know. And I know Strauss's business is not too glamorous, but it pays. Please, son, for me. Okay. Okay. Either that or start praying real hard. If you're so bored, nobody's stopping you getting out there making some money. Grimshaw is. Come on. Ain't that bad. What would you know about being a woman? Nothing. Forget I said anything. How's the invalid? Uh, I'm okay. Well, good. How are you holding up? Not very well. well. I'm sorry. It'll get better eventually. Okay, I'll catch you later then. Okay. Molly. Hi there. You seem miles away. I'm fine. Anyway, not my business, I guess. All right. Herr Morgan! Herr Morgan! Mr. Strauss. You busy, my friend? Why? I'll cut you in. Loaning. Already? You know how it is. People is happy to borrow off someone like me, but more enthusiastic paying back to someone like you. Of course. Who are they? Hmm, let me see. A Chick Matthews works at Guthrie Farm. He's a hand, I believe. Mr. Robel, the small holder at Painted Sky, runs the operations there, badly. Miss Lily Millet is a ranch maid up at Emerald Ranch. And here was me believing Dutch's bluster about us helping folk. It's legal work, Mr. Morgan. Debtors belong in prison. We are doing them a favor. Ah, I'll make sure they see it in them terms. Put the debts in the deed box and try not to kill them. It's very bad for business. I just miss him so much. Of course you do. Goes without saying. Uh, what am I gonna do? You're gonna suffer. <laughs> and life's gonna go on. That's the truth of it. I won't lie to you. Oh, Miss Roberts. <laughs> 
I know. Where, where am I gonna go? Stay here with us. <laughs> Folk, they ain't so bad. It's nasty out there on your own. I know. You'll be safe here. <laughs> At least for now. Till you're back on your feet properly. Thank you. Of course. Okay, then. partner come take a look at this look at this my friend tobacco nature's gift to us all hmm. focuses the mind like nothing else whatever you say well I say why buy it off the shelves when you can make your own well plenty left here if you're interested I'd best Keep moving. Knock, knock, Mr. Rope. No, przepraszam, co pan robi w moim domu? God damn it. English? Uh, you me, speak English? Me? Uh, um, Silesia. Yeah, good uh, for you. Silesia. I'm here for money. Do you borrow from a German man? Aha, uh. a German. Uh, um, uh, mein Herr, uh, uh, sprechen das, uh, this, uh, uh, the Kaiserreich. I don't speak German neither. I'm here for money, money that you borrowed from Leopold Strauss. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, Leopold Strauss. Uh huh. Yeah. So it's time to pay. Where is it? Oh, well, no, I have nothing. It's very bad winter. We've all had a bad winter, pal. Uh -huh. Where is it? Oh, oh, no. No. Nie, nie. Now, you remember where you're keeping that silver? Potrzebuję trochę czasu, znajdę ci pieniądze. Oh, still don't understand you. God damn it, you have a debt to Herr Strauss. Pay up. Stop! Już nie mam siły. No! No! No, nie! No, 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 please, no, no, have money, but, but I have this, it's good, it's good, it's valuable, it's, it's Warsaw, yes. I have your things, okay? I have anything in here or out there? Yes. What you got behind there? So, uh, nie, nie Move aside. Don't even speak English. What do we have here? Just keep quiet. Better be something somewhere.
No, 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 no. Yes, 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 yes. should about cover things. Hey! Who's there? It's me, Art. Look what the cat dragged in. Miss Karen, how you getting on? Fine so far. They just think I was once a damsel in distress, and now they got me protecting the men. <laughs> just stay alert. Oh, I shall do. Hey. How did you get on, Herr Morgan? Called in on the small holder, Robo. Didn't even speak English. <laughs> good, very good. My pleasure. Uh, well, if it's pleasure you're after, there is one other. This farmer preacher fellow I met in Valentine, Mr. Downs. The opinionated little do-gooder? Yeah, I know the one. I certainly know the type. Thank you, Herr Morgan. There's no need to thank me. Like you said, it's pleasure I'm after. He's more slippery than he seems. I've tried being polite. Don't take any nonsense. Nonsense? Me? If he doesn't have the money, beat him. Well, I usually do. I know. I know. I'm not no Driscoll, miss. Okay, whatever you say. Dear Arthur, I've written this letter a hundred times or more, and I cannot get it right. It's me. You know it's me from the bad handwriting. I know I said when we last spoke and I was going off to get married that we would not speak again. I know I said a lot of things and I meant them, I suppose, at the time. But I'm not so proud as to not speak to people who care for me or cared for me. I've been in Valentine for a couple of months. I had some bad luck and, well, it's a long story and not an interesting one, but I am here for now. I saw a couple of the girls, or whatever the polite term is for them, that ran with you and your associates in town, and I heard tell of a man who sounded like you. I would love to see you again if you could spare me a little bit of your time. I'm renting a room at Chadwick Farm, just north of Valentine. Yours. Mary Linton. Let's go, girl. Partner, how's it going? <laughs> you can rest now. Yes? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to disturb you, ma'am. Is Mrs. Linton in? I'll go see. Mrs. Linton? A caller for you. Hello, Arthur. Mary? 
I heard you and your friends was around. I... Okay. Where's, um... Where's what's-his-name? Died. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, me too. Me too. Happened a while ago. Pneumonia. Bad business. Sure. So, uh... Well, you've been... <clears throat> you've been made a widow and... Come here looking for me, is that it? No, ain't like that, Arthur. Oh, okay. Listen, Arthur, I... I'm... My family. I need your help. You mean the family that always looked down on me? And you want me to help? It's my little brother, Jamie. Well, I always liked Jamie. At least compared to the rest of you. He's broken Daddy's heart. Daddy has a heart. Don't make me beg you, Arthur. My money, my life, me. I wasn't good enough. I'm sorry. We need your help real bad. Little Jamie's joined the Chelonians, that strange religious order. Good for him. They're quite mad, Arthur. They'll kill him. You're the only person he'd listen to. So, I'm too rough to marry into your family, but it's okay to ask me to help in saving your family. I'm sorry. I understand if you don't want to help me, but... but I think of you often. A long time ago now. I'm begging you, Arthur. I say let Jamie live Jamie's life and not the nightmare that his daddy dreamed up for him. Jamie's so innocent, Arthur. Please. Arthur, will you help me? Where is it? Somewhere out near Carmody Dell, I think. The rancher there said he'd seen him around the Cumberland Forest. I just want him back, Arthur. If you find him, bring him to me at the station. I'll see what I can do. I'll owe you. You already owe me. Okay, girl. Easy. We are heading. Yes, Jamie, we are heading to paradise. It's in the mountains. Gentlemen! Shallow safety. 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 Path to truth. Well, I mean, his sister just wants to speak with him. Arthur, I've chosen a path. The boy has chosen a path. He's chosen safety. What path have you chosen, sir? I don't know about this nonsense. Let me speak to the boy. Dut, dut. Are you always this negative and antagonistic, sir? I'm not a very cultured man. Forgive me, please. <laughs> I am a fool for my God and a happy one, sir. I bless you. What do I dream about? Who are my heroes? I have no idea. Uh, turtles. Yeah, turtles. Hey, you love turtles. I love them too. Turtles. Um. 
Jamie knows the truth. But of course, you may speak with him. Exactly. If your teachings are so great, what harm can I do? I'm... I'm not... I'm not coming with you, Arthur! Just come and speak with Mary, then make up your mind! Leave me alone, Arthur! I didn't ask for your help! Jamie, your sister's worried about you. This is none of your damn business. Morgan. Leave me alone. Please, kid. Put that gun down. I warn you, Arthur. I'm... I'm gonna... I don't want to live anymore. Kid, just calm down. Leave me alone. Go see your sister. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, kid. Have I been a terrible fool, Arthur? I don't know. I don't know enough about it. But one thing I do know, there ain't no shame in looking for a better world. I missed you, Arthur. Are you and Mary sweet on one another again? Oh, no. That's all a long time ago, son. Well, this wasn't how I thought today would turn out. It's been a long time, Jamie Gillis. You were a kid last time I saw you. You didn't try to kill yourself. You know, you taught me how to ride a horse. Too well, apparently. Shalonia, though? Really? You'd fall for that? They were very nice to me. They're decent. I'm sure. Please tell me you didn't give them any money. Of course I did. They rely on charitable donations. Jesus, Jamie, come on. I just wanted to believe that there might be something good coming my way one day. Guess that's dead in the water. With the turtle. Shut up. All Father kept telling me was, you won't amount to anything. You're not enough of a man. I had to get away. I couldn't take it anymore. Forgive me, but your father's a bully and a coward. Don't listen to him. Hey, don't talk about him like that. What do you 
you want me to say, Jamie? He's a good father, nice man. He won't be happy I saw you. And please send him my worst regards. The thing is, he's right. I'm not good at anything. Come on, that ain't true. Tell me something you like. Um, well, um... Don't think too hard. Apples, I guess. Apples? Yeah, I love apples. Okay. I was thinking more along the lines of carpentry or horses or something, but... All right, go work in an orchard then. By that token, you must really like shooting and robbing people. I only like shooting young idiots who run away from me when I'm trying to help them. Father told me what you do. I'm sure he did. Hey, are you still with Dutch and... What was his name? H Hester? Jose. Yep, still the same, sort of. And Annabelle and Bessie? I'm afraid they're dead. Shit. Maybe Mary did make the right choice. No doubt. But none of it is anything like the nonsense you read in the newspapers. So, are you two getting back together? I told you, no. Just ask me for a favor. You know Barry Linton's dead? Pneumonia. She told me. So the door's open, so to speak. That's all in the past. Different people now. She's not. And you seem just the same. Well, maybe that right there's a problem. She was always too good for me. Now, let's just get you back to your sister. She's waiting at the station for us. Here we are. She must be waiting inside. You're nervous about seeing her, aren't you? Father's been very sad. Father wouldn't know sadness if it died in his bed. But I'll come home for you. My boy. My sweet boy. Come on. Oh, Arthur. Thank you. Thank you. It's good to see you, Mary. And you, Arthur. And you. I've... you're... Oh, you'll never change. I know that. I feel like the luckiest man alive, and I feel like a fool. That woman confuses me and plays me for a fiddle like no one else alive. I trust I will not make a god-awful fool of myself once more, but... Somehow, I imagine I shall. Mr. Thomas Downs? You owe me money. Uh, oh, no, no, I'm, I'm, I'm... Really? Threaten me, would you? Oh, please, I have a family, sir, please. I don't care about your family. <laughs> Why did it have to come to this, huh? Believe me, sir, I didn't... Know. You ain't such a do-gooder, are you? If you're running out on debts, I'm I'm not running anywhere. I'm I'm I'm, do, I'm doing my best for you. You are a slippery little bastard. But I got you now. Please, please show some compassion. Please. 
Strauss told me you needed a beat. You saying he was right? What will that solve? A little patience is all I require. <coughs> please, please, no. You borrowed money from my business partner, Herr Strauss. You owe him, you took the money. He wants it back, what's not to understand? <coughs> Where's our money? I don't have it. Sell your place. We already owe more than it's worth. <coughs> Then sell your wife, or your family, or something. We ain't your idea of charity. Is that clear? <laughs> Thomas! What are you looking at? Thomas! I said what you looking at, woman. My husband isn't well. If we could just have more... Like I said, we ain't nobody's idea of charity. Get us the money. Ah, how did you get on? Not so good. He's almost dead. And they seem more or less destitute. You were a fool for lending them the money. Well, people who aren't desperate don't seem so interested in my propositions. Of course. 